what's going on y'all welcome back to the channel hope you're having a wonderful day or evening depending on when you're viewing this hope you're doing good thanks for tuning in today i have got the green dump trailer that i coined uh, i should say hannah has coined grinchy don't know if you can make that out there uh, behind me but anyway got the uh, dump trailer hooked up I have got to run to the local rock quarry to pick up a small amount of number 57 stone uh, it's the stone that's the granite anywhere from I think it's right around half inch to an inch inch and a quarter it's driveway rock um, if you will got to pick up uh, just one ton of rock and deliver it to a customer up in Stokesdale <music> So I wanted to show you something, the, the screen and settings in my truck for the trailer. Uh, so here on this screen, uh, it's got, let's see, uh, you know, different settings right here. But anyway, right here under trailer brake, I've got equipment trailer, which is my 16 foot utility trailer, cargo trailer, which is my enclosed, and of course, dump for dump trailer. So right now it says current for the cargo trailer because I've been hauling the enclosed the most. Um, but what I want is the dump trailer. So I just select dump trailer and then use this trailer turn it on back out and that's how you change the brake settings on the trailer so all set up ready to go let's roll out before I get to the quarry it's of course the morning time here when I'm recording this but I'm gonna run by a local restaurant and grab me a biscuit but just wanted to chat real quick before I get to the quarry uh, because uh, I, I know when you get to the quarry not sure how it is where you are or if you've even been one you may be tuning in and this is not even the type of work that you do uh, but at the quarry it's uh, restricted or prohibited that you exit your vehicle you are not allowed to get out of your vehicle once you leave the scale house uh, with the scale operator and it's basically a liability thing for them because of all the large equipment the the big front end loaders and all that stuff that are riding around and there's dump trucks everywhere but it's basically to keep you safe and to protect them um, for you know insurance purposes and stuff like that so it's not like at like landscape facilities where you're picking up mulch and stuff you can get out and, and film it and look what they're doing and all that stuff you're, you're not allowed to you they give you a site map if you need one so you can pull up to you know the piles of stone that you know whatever you need whatever you're there to get and once you're there, you literally just sit and wait. Uh, they usually have two front end loaders riding around and they kind of go around in clockwork or uh, clockwise fashion and servicing whoever they see sitting there. Um, so if there's, you know, four dump trucks sitting at the the what I would call rip wrap not rip wrap I'm sorry ABC stone or crush and run then the front end loader will load all of those dump trucks before he moves on to the next uh, product whatever you know if it's uh, like pea gravel or whatever they've got their terms for it but anyway so if someone happens to come in after you but it's between a pile and between where you're at and where they're servicing guess what they get serviced before you and it's just the way it the way it is so sometimes when you get to the quarry you can get in and get out 
Um, it's usually very busy in the mornings. Let's be honest, that's when everybody you know wants their products so they can uh, get done with their their jobs during the day or get started with their jobs. So the core opens up at 7:30. I try to get there anywhere between 7:30 and 8, and you just got to be patient. Um, so you know I have gone there before and been in and out you know between you got to go to the scale house first they get your weight let them know what you want so of course they radio to the front end loaders of, of you know who they got and where they're going but I've, I've been in and out as quick as like you know 20 or 30 minutes and the the worst case scenario was a time that I literally sat in there for like an hour and a half and it turned out that they only had one loader uh, I guess their other loader was down for equipment failure or, or whatever um, mechanical problems so that day really sucked and you can imagine if you've got you know a job planned and it's timed and all that stuff you can really lose a lot of time having to go to the quarry to pick up material so it's something something to think about and you know we all know that time is money so something that you can explain to the customer if they want to know why your delivery fees are why they are that you know it could take you two hours to get their product and that time it's costing you money so anyways I'm gonna stop in here to this restaurant get a biscuit and we will get back on the road all right this is the Vulcan Rock Crory. Again, I know the audio is not great, so I will try to speak up. But this is what it looks like when you first get here, at least to this quarry. The uh, scale house is right there. So you come in, and right here is the actual quarry. I'm sure it's obvious that it opens up, but then you have to drive around and get onto the scale so that they can weigh your truck and trailer before you get loaded. So there's only one scale and it's really neat how this is set up. I don't know if you can see this or not or make this out in the video. Let me get stopped. But right here there is water that runs down this scale so when you drive up it it cleans your tires off so when you leave the facility they don't continuously uh, drag debris out of here so it's getting my weight I will stop once they let me know they will ask me there's a little red light on the scale that tells you to stop Good morning. I just need one ton of 57 stone. Are you saying 5'7 or 6'7? 5'7. Hang on. Thank you. Alright, and you, as you could hear, the little thing, the little red light turns green, they buzz you. So she will radio down to the loader operators, letting them know that there's a white pickup with a green trailer headed down to 57. So those guys store that in their memory bank and we'll get you loaded up. So they know that I only need one ton. And if they forget, they can radio back up to the scale house. So anyways, I'm just driving right back where I came from. So the scale was that way, and I'm gonna go that way. And from this point forward, you're not allowed to get out of your vehicle.
this is the long gravel road down. And it's usually uh, in pretty good condition. They, uh, they, they try to take care of things out here. So, there's a little bit of a runoff from where the water comes across. But, Anyways, as we get down here to the quarry, this is not where they're digging. Actually, where they're digging is over there. This is just the processing plant side where everything comes up from the actual quarry itself, and then they sort through things. So this huge pile, I know it doesn't look huge on camera, but that huge pile right there is Crush and Run or ABC Stone. And then they've got other stuff like Anyways, all right, and over here's 67 stone. It's labeled 67. So, that's ABC stone, crush and run. Sorry if it's real shaky or all over the place. It's not the smoothest road. But here's a process and plant where they sort things and everything goes through these these sorters. I guess that's what they're called. There's a huge tractor trailer dump truck that just came in behind me. We'll get around to the 57 stone and it's a little tough to hold this camera and navigate through here too so i'm gonna get over there where i gotta go and get loaded up but real quick here is what we would call a rip wrap see how it comes off the loader up there the sorter up there they seem to not be very busy this morning uh, because the loader is already at the 57 stone and waiting on me. This never happens. So. But anyway, right here is the loader. So this is the loader. Pretty cool. And just like that, load it up. That is the fastest I've ever gotten in here and gotten out. pretty cool I've never seen the uh, big the humongous dump trucks out here before so that was uh, pretty cool to see them guys up here out of the uh, the mine or the quarry down there all right so I just came out of the quarry and I always respect the scale operators privacy I don't ever record them um, but as you can see right here I've got the 57 stone uh, this is one ton it's actually a little bit more like 1.17 or something but they're pretty accurate so my quote was $35 and it was 37 so I always allow a little bit of room for error but as you can see that's one ton so. but anyways gonna head to the customer up in Stokesdale all right guys so I'm here in Stokesdale at the customer's home 
I have got the rock here with me, of course. I already got the trailer prepped and ready to deliver, uh, already to unload. So I'm going to show you real quick where we're going to put it. I'm uh, going to go right over here in this area. I'm going to try and get the trailer around and dump it in this area right here. There's a little bit of selling right here, so the customer wants to fill this in uh, with the stone. But as I saw, as I showed you before, this is number 57 stone, and it's just a mixture of you know half inch to inch and probably inch and a half uh, size stone. So, anyways, let's get this unloaded. All right, you guys, as you can see from the video that I just dumped this ton of 57 stone and we got it put right here. So the customer wants to fill in a little bit around this sidewalk and then going to backfill around this heat and AC unit over here. So that's one ton of 57 stone. It doesn't look like much, but it will actually go a lot further than you think. But anyways, appreciate you guys tuning in. If you would subscribe i'd appreciate it and hit that little notification bell so you know the next time that i release a video as always thanks for your support have a blessed day